This is Unity, and I've set us up to go over how to add sprite tile maps or tile sets. Okay, and I have a few right here actually. So I'm just gonna drag mine over into my sprite folder. And there we are. So, and we can see it's just one big chunk of sprites, which is not what we want. We wanna make an animation out of them. So let me click on my first one here. And this is all gonna pop up. This looks fine for me. I do wanna make sure I click multi because we wanna break out this tile set into our individual actions of the animation. I'm gonna hit Sprite Editor and then Apply. Okay, and now all I'll do is slice and automatic great slice. The automatic slice in Unity is pretty darn good. And yep, that's exactly what we wanted. So it has chopped them all out for me and I'm gonna just click apply. Once I do hit apply, I can just whoop, goodbye. Let me actually increase this. And you see how this one's all set out now? So with that ready to go, let's add a tab. And there's a few, I can do an animation here. I could actually also do window animation, animator, and there it is. So there's kind of a few options. Just for this video, I'm gonna stick it right here, okay? So let me go into my hierarchy, and I wanna go ahead and create an empty. I'm gonna call my empty my player because the animations I'm setting up here are eventually gonna be for my player. So I'm gonna click then on player, and here's animation, right? So maybe I should pull animation down so we can see both. Okay, so I'm on my player and I'm gonna set up an animation. So I'm gonna click create. And what am I gonna call this? Well, this is gonna be my walk animation. So I'm gonna call it walk, except actually assets, sprites, do I wanna, I can do this within sprites. Oftentimes you'll set up a separate animation folder as well, but I'll hit save, okay, and see this this and this are both going to be parts of our animation. And what I need to do now is select which parts of this I want. Maybe I don't want this first. Maybe this is just an idle or a standing one. Um, but I actually do want all of these steps. I'm going to click and drop. Now, when I hit play, oh, let me hide. Well, I can also. And then let's boom. Boom. There we are. And so my elephant is going to die, right? Way, 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 way too fast. So what we're gonna do then is slow this down. This is the samples that's still going 60 frames per second. And it's up to you, right? How many do I have down here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, right? So maybe I wanna stick with 10. Let's see if I like this though. Right, and maybe I'm like, eh, that's, oh, I, it didn't set, that's why. I was thinking that was a fast 10. Boom, and there we go, that's a more casual one, but maybe I do want it faster. So maybe I'm like, actually, maybe I want it more like 15, okay, or 20. It's up to you, and it's a really nice tool to be able to use that. All right, let me go ahead and see if we can, and go back to my player, and go back to, there we are. Ah, oh, walking on the ground. Um, not really yet, but that's fine. So walking, great. So we have one step of our animation. We have created, you have created your first animation in Unity, ta-da. I wanna go over it one more time um, with an idle animation, right? So now that we have that one, I also have this idle one. By the way, I created all of these. Um, I'll link the assets in the description so you can have these elephants and use them for whatever you'd like. Uh, even this background thing. All right, so let me add a property. Oh. Let me click on walk and create new clip. And then we're going, I was getting ahead of myself. And then we're going to do idle for the next one. Save. And now we have a blank idle. Well, first I got to split this out again. So let me hide that before I get all confused. Here's my idle. Okay. Multiple sprite editor. 
yep, I want to apply it. And in this one, I want to show you another technique. So almost always when you go up here to slice, automatic and center is perfect. You should click slice. Having been working with this elephant uh, in a game I am making, I know the trunk will throw off the slicer sometimes. And you will get this all, this all the time with the arms or legs or things of that nature. However, this is a really powerful uh, slicing tool. Because even when you don't do automatic, for instance, I'm going to do on this one, just in case this trunk would give me issues, grid by cell size. And I know these are 1080 by 1080 blocks because I space them out that way. Just in case it ever has problems, I know how spaced they are, right? So 1080 by 1080 and slice. And this being my idle animation, watch, boom, boom. And it follows that exactly. This being my idle animation, there is a little bit of a bob in the elephant, but it's mostly the trunk. And when it does it on its own, it tries to get the trunk as it moves and gets thrown off where the back of the elephant is and the elephant's jerked around the screen. Oops, and I'm thankful for those warnings. Always apply and great. So now we need a new animation, right? Now that we have these. So I'm gonna again go up here and, oh, player. There we are. Create new clip. And this time I'll just call it idle because it's idle. And with an idle animation, I'm now going to grab all of these again. I held shift and I'm going to drop them. If you ever want to zoom in, I'm holding down control to zoom in and look. Okay. And also just to point out, all your animations are going to be right here. It's not like they disappeared on you. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. And yikes, my elephant's going nuts, right? So once again, we just want to control for speed. And maybe I'll start with five on this one. Click off, hit play. Yeah, that's a bit slow for me, maybe 10, right? But it's totally up to you. What do you feel like is appropriate for that character in your game? Awesome. And a bit of a bob. Perfect. And let's go look at the run again. Boom. Boom. And we are well on our way. We got some animations in Unity. If you're curious to learn more about this and how all of that works, make sure to check out my other videos. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. And again, all of the assets for this stuff is in the description of this video. Feel free, feel free to use any of it.